I'm going to talk about this tool I'm using to hold the blank while I drill it. Now I have a vise that I can hold the blank, but I don't like it. I've never been able to drill a straight hole. Now this tool is made by Vice Grip. I don't know if it has a particular name. It has a funny grip on it, but it works perfectly for holding uh, blanks of any size or uh, type. Like they work really well for deer antler. And as long as you cut the top and bottom parallel to each other, you can drill a straight hole every time. Well, most every time anyway. I'm going to use a carbide tool here made by T-Shadow to rough this out and I'm just taking my time. I'm not used to turning resin, especially a hybrid, so I'm just going to take my time so I don't blow it out. I get a little chipping on this one end, but I was able to turn away and, and pretty much sand the rest of the way. Um, I'm not going to show you a lot of the sanding in a little bit. I will dry sand up to 400 and then wet sand all the way up to 12,000. Something else that I noticed while editing this video was if you look right here, you can see kind of a double line at the lead edge of my tool. I think I must have a chip on my carbide. I'll have to take a look at that. Even if you're not going to start a YouTube channel or share videos, it's not a bad idea to record what you're turning so you can see it at a different perspective maybe catch some things that you didn't notice before.
At this point, I realized that the carbine was getting dull, and I switched over to my Easy Wood Square carbide. It was had been sharpened previous, so I could see a, a, a big difference in how it was cutting. So I knew that I needed to sharpen my other tool. So just to keep moving, I grabbed the other tool and kept turning. At this point, I have already sanded uh, up to 400, and now I'm wet sanding all the way up through to 12,000. And then I will switch out my bushings for nylon bushings to apply the CA. You want your blank to dry really well before you start uh, applying the CA. And I did five coats of medium and I let it dry really well overnight and then came back in the morning, lightly sanded it down and then applied another probably five coats of thin, let it dry really well and then buffed it out. I used all three wheels. And I have to say, this is one of the nicest pens I've made. Very pleased with it. One thing that I like to do when I'm getting ready to assemble my pen is line all the pieces up, make sure you have everything, inspect them, make sure you don't have a chip on any of the brass parts, or um, you also want to inspect the ends of your tube, make sure there's no glue build up on the inside. I just use my pocket knife and gently scrape all that glue out of there. And while you're assembling it, if you don't have that glue out of there, this is the time where you're gonna split the blank and all of your hard work is for nothing. <laughs> and I can say that out of experience. I've done it. It's very disheartening. So take your time. This is probably the most important part of pen making is making sure everything is ready for that assembly. Also use a brush and just run through and clean the inside of the tube. Nobody's gonna see it, but it makes me feel better that it's clean.
And here it is. I have a couple shots at the end. So thanks for watching. Keep turning. Keep praying.